Hello everyone, welcome back. It is compound measures today on the menu and we're looking in particular at density. Now with this it is about memory. If we can memorize a little formula, a little diagram, it's definitely going to help us. Well, it is going to help us. We also need to know about substitution, so make sure if you're doing this, you're comfortable with substituting in numbers for letters in algebra, and I can't see any reason why you wouldn't ace this. So what is density? Density equals mass over volume. Now that is the key one, and we can rearrange this formula to make uh, lots of different things and use it to find out what the mass is, what the volume is. But here's an example. We've got some gold. Obviously gold has a greater density than a foam, although the volume will be the same. Maybe the volume is the same, but one's a lot lighter. So our mass, being how heavy it is, uh, divided by our volume will give us our density. Hopefully that makes sense for you. So let's have a little look at all the different formulas that we might use. So density equals mass divided by volume. Volume will equal mass divided by density. And mass will equal density times and by volume. And it all comes from this, this main formula here. We could rearrange this, couldn't we, uh, to, make, to make all these other ones work. So we'll go over how to do all of that. But the main thing that you'll need to write out and memorize is this little diagram here, which means that we can use all of these. So let's look at density. Density equals mass divided by volume. Volume equals mass divided by density. And mass equals density times and by volume. So it's very, very useful when we're working these through. So please, please, please make sure that you copy this out before you move on to any of the other slides and it will definitely help you as we go through all of these questions. So let's look at some examples now. A piece of metal has a mass of 18 grams and a volume of 30 centimetres cubed. Work out the density. So the first thing is we've got to do is we've got to write out our, uh, we'll write out our diagram for a start, so we've got our um, we've got our mass at the top, density and volume at the bottom, and then we're looking for the density one. So okay, so let's write out that formula now that's going to help us with that equation. We've got density equals mass over volume. So now all we're going to do to work out the question is we're saying okay, we've got a piece of metal that has a mass of eighteen. So rather than having M have 18 and a volume of 30 centimetres cubed, so we have 30 centimetres cubed uh, as the volume. So we'd rewrite it out, density equals 18 divided by 30. And if we bang that into our calculator, what we'll end up with is we'll end up with density equaling 0.6. Now, this is the only other part that is a little bit interesting is what do we put here? Well, density on this occasion is made up of grams uh, and centimetres cubed. So what we write is we write down grams per centimetres cubed or dash centimetres cubed. So hopefully that makes sense. All we've really done is written out the formula for density. We've then inputted in our values. We've worked it out and we've made sure we've put it in the correct format. We'll go over that. There's little clues at how we do all of these. So the next one, uh, we are. I don't think we're going to do density again, but we are going to move on. So on this one is uh, what is the volume? So we're looking, we're looking for volume. So we make sure we write out our our formula for this. So we're looking for volume. What is the volume of a piece of metal that has a mass of 600 grams and a density of 12 grams per centimeter cubed? So here we go. We're looking for volume, aren't we? So what's the formula for volume? Volume equals mass over density. So we take out our, what's the mass? The mass is 600. What's the density? The density is 12. So we take out those and we put in 
uh, the information. So we've got 600 divided by 12, and we end up with a volume which equals 50 centimeters cubed. The reason for that is, can we see here in the in the question how we've got our 12 grams per centimeters cubed? That's our little tip that our value will be in centimeters cubed there. Okay, so I want you to do the last one on your own before we move into the quiz. Remember, write down your formula for a start. You should have your formulas all written out and then we'll take out the letters and input the numbers. So hopefully you had some time to do that. Let's look at our formula for a start. So mass equals density times volume. So we write that down. We take away our density, our, dens our D, and we put in our, our density value. Okay, we take out the V and we put in the, the volume uh, value, and then we work it through. So we've got mass equaling uh, 1.5 times and by 200. Oh, sorry, 120, not 200. Why did I say that? No idea. Um, we work that through and we end up with mass equaling 180. Now, what is it going to be? So we're looking for mass. Yeah. Now, mass looks like on this one we should have grams. So let's make sure we put grams down as well. So we've got 180 grams. And it really is as easy as that. You need to memorize this. You need to memorize the formulas. And then really you're substituting in values um, for letters. And that is it. So it is now time for the quiz. Give these a go. Remember, the key here is know your formulas. Please don't be looking at your formulas. You need to know them now. So if you have to pause the video, go over it over and over until you really feel you know that diagram and how that diagram works, then do that. But do not just have it next to you because that's not your memory. That's just you looking at a piece of paper. So pause the video. Make sure you know what you're doing before you go on. Then come back and see if you've got them correct. So we should have had enough time there. It is time to go over the answers. I'm a little bit croaky today. Our little formula up here. So mass equals density times volume or density equals mass over volume or volume equals mass over density. So that's how that works. Let's go through now. So that's our formula. As we go through, we take away our letters and we input our values and we end up with this information. And then we work that through and we end up with this information. So hopefully you got all of those correct. I'm sure you have. If you have done, that's absolutely fantastic. Make sure that you write a good revision card. Remember, do something today that your future self is going to thank you for. But until next time, I hope that you have got better at maths today. I hope you feel even more positive about maths. But until next time, enjoy. Thank <laughs> you.